the Notre Dame Cathedral is one of the most recognized religious and historical places of all time. But Notre Dame, which translates to Our Lady, was not the first place of worship built on that site. It is believed that before the arrival of Christianity in France, a Gallo-Roman temple dedicated to Jupiter stood on the site. They found evidence of this in 1710, when the pillar of the boatman was discovered beneath the cathedral. In the 4th or 5th century, a large early Christian church, the Cathedral of Saint Etienne, was built on the site close to the royal palace. And the last church, before the Cathedral of Notre Dame, was a Romanesque remodeling of Saint Etienne that, although enlarged and remodeled, was found to be unfit for the growing population of Paris. In 1160, the Bishop of Paris, Maurice de Sully, decided to build a new and much bigger church. He summarily demolished the earlier cathedral and recycled the materials. Thus, construction of Notre Dame Cathedral began in 1163, during the reign of King Louis VII, and was completed in 1345, almost 200 years later. As is the case with most notable historical monuments, the Notre Dame Cathedral in Paris has its own share of both the glorious and tragic historical moments that will forever remain in the minds of people everywhere. Among them is the crowning of Henry VI of England inside the cathedral in 1431. The cathedral was at one time in a state of total disrepair and close to the point of being demolished but was later saved by Napoleon, who himself was crowned emperor inside the cathedral in 1804, and Joan of Arc, who was beatified by Pope Pius X in 1909. After restoring the cathedral back to its former beauty, and in the midst of World War II, it was rumored that the German soldiers might destroy the newly installed stained glass. It was therefore removed and reinstalled again after the war had ended. On August 26, 1944, a special mass was held in the cathedral to celebrate the liberation of Paris from the Germans. These are but a few of the many significant historical and religious events that have taken place inside the cathedral. Have you heard about the forest? in the cathedral? The roof of the cathedral has always been called the forest due to the fact that each of the 1300 beams on the roof came from their own oak tree. But on April 15th, 2019, the cathedral caught fire, destroying the forest of oak roof beams supporting the lead roof. It was speculated that the fire was linked to ongoing renovation work. The roof burned for 15 hours before they were able to put it out, and they still haven't been able to fully assess what was lost. They are hoping to have the reconstruction complete in time for the Olympic Games being held in France in 2024. But at this point, Notre Dame Cathedral remains closed to the public. Now what kind of haunts will be waiting for us when the doors of the cathedral finally open? Will it be the same as before, or will we see something new? We will have to wait and see if this is still a house of God, or if something else has moved in.